Today we'll start together the IGCSE syllabus O level. The first points which are needed to be covered according to the syllabus characteristics of living organisms and then organization of the organism which contains cell structure. Today we'll talk about the cell structure and the difference between plant and animal cell. The first point, the characteristics of living organisms. We have actually seven characteristics of living organisms, which can be abbreviated to Mrs. Gren. So we have Mrs. Gren, the first one, movement. What is the definition of movement? Movement is an action by an organism or part of an organism causing a change of a position or place. So the organism can move, so it means it can change its position or its place. Secondly, respiration. What is the respiration? Respiration defined as a chemical process of breaking down of food to get energy. So the respiration, the process of getting energy. Sensitivity, the ability to sense the stimuli which is internal or, or external st stimuli. What is the stimuli? The substance or the something which makes us respond so we have a response we have response to sunlight so in this case the sunlight is our stimuli which considered as external stimuli next is the growth growth permanent increase increase of what maybe increase of dry mass so increase of dry mass by increasing the number of cells or increasing the size of cells or both together increase in number with the size of cells reproduction reproduction means the increasing the number of the individuals increasing the number of individuals and then the excretion which means getting rid of the waste products as I told you, we have some chemical reaction inside our cells. So this chemical reaction can should be excreted outside or this chemical reaction responsible for production of some waste products. These waste products considered as toxic substances. We need to get rid them out. We need to remove them out by the excretion. And the last one, nutrition. Nutrition is taken in of materials. Why we need these materials to get energy for growth, for development. Exactly like the plant cell which needs the light, carbon dioxide, water to photosynthesize and get the food. The next part, we'll talk about the organization of the organism. And when we are talking about any organisms, any organism formed of the units, which are called cells. So we have animal cell and plant cell. First one, the animal cell. To draw the animal cell, it's very easy to draw it. We have some structures like the nucleus. We have endoplasmic reticulum, which can be rough or it mode we have some vesicles we have mitochondria and the cell membrane and the cytoplasm so what are the parts of the animal cell the structures or the organelles so organelles Organelles of animal cell, first one, cell membrane, cytoplasm, vesicles, or sometimes we are calling it excretory vesicles, nucleus, Endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria. So these are the main organelles which are found in the animal cell. 
we take one by one to know the function of each one the first one is the cell membrane but before talking about the cell membrane you should know a fact we can classify the membranes according to the permeability into three types of membranes the first one full permeable second one partially or semi permeable the last one impermeable so full permeable this one which allows all substances to pass through we don't have the selection there is no the process of selection at all this membrane cannot select any substance to pass anyone can bath easily second one partially or semi permeable membrane which selects some substances to pass through and prevents the others so we have the process of selection this mainly found in the cell membranes of the cell why because it should select the substances according to the cell needs impermeable this membrane which doesn't allow any substance to pass through if we back to the cell membrane it's partially permeable as i told you it's partially permeable membrane which allows some substance to get inside the cell and prevents the other and prevents the other substances okay what is the function of cell membrane the cell membrane has different functions the first one surround the cytoplasm second allows some substance to get in and prevents the other how glucose glucose is needed for the cell for aerobic respiration inside the mitochondria so it allows the glucose to get in it allows the water but it prevents the protein it prevents the protein the same on the other side we have some toxic substances or the waste products from the chemical processes inside the cell so these toxic substances if they are accumulated inside the cell leading to death of the cell to avoid this this substance should be removed or get rid of it by the partially permeable membrane so it selects only the waste products to get out the the cell okay so it surround the cytoplasm and prevent the organelles from escaping and the last one allowing some substances to pass through it and prevents the other second one is the cytoplasm cytoplasm jelly like substance inside the cytoplasm we have the whole chemical reaction all chemical reaction take place inside the cytoplasm it carries the whole organelles it carries the whole organelles so this is the cytoplasm next is the nucleus nucleus carrying the genetic material or the dna so it carries the gene so what is the function of the nucleus function of nu nucleus controls the cell activities controls the cell division and responsible for the cell feature why because it contains the genetic material or the dna next mitochondria we have the mitochondria which is called it has as a side which is called house of power why because aerobic respiration which will be explained in detail later aerobic respiration takes place at takes place inside it and aerobic respiration respons responsible for getting the energy which is needed for the cell and for the whole living organism so mitochondria is very important we have endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum which is divided into two types of endoplasmic reticulum smooth and rough s e r or r e r smooth 
because they are not carrying the ribosomes but the roughness of rough endoplasmic reticulum because of the ribosomes so they are carrying the main organelle which is very important and you should know it which is called ribosomes what is the function of ribosome Res ribosome responsible for protein tenses protein tenses we'll explain in details later the next point vesicle what is the function of vesicle contain the cell products such, such as hormones or enzymes such as hormones or enzymes one more thing you have you should know that the mitochondria or the number of mitochondria increase or decreases according to the energy needed for the organ organ or the tissue for example for the muscles the muscles need more energy because they are moving the whole time that's why a lot of mitochondria large number of mitochondria are found in muscles in muscle cells so the high rate of metabolism requires large number of mitochondria the next one is the plant cell how can we draw the plant cell formed of different organelles than the animal cell simply and easy we can draw it we have some special structure we have mitochondria we have nucleus and we have the vacuum so the first layer is called cell wall second layer is called cell membrane all organelles are carried on the cytoplasm we have the same typically like the animal cell mito we have a special structure for the plant cell which are not found in the animal cell chloroplasts we have nucleus and we have rough in the plasmic reticulum and we have sub vacuole so we have different structures which are typically like the animal cell found in animal cell and plant cell like the cell membrane cytoplasm mitochondria and nucleus and rough endoplasmic reticulum but these organelles which are not found in the animal cell but only in the plant cell cell wall chloroplasts and sub vacuum and self vacuum so in this part we'll start explaining each one of them so the cell one first it you should know it's full permeable full permeable so it allows the whole substances to pass through we don't have any control we don't have any selection but how can we select the substance to get in and out of the cell by the cell membrane which follow the which follows the cell wall so what is the function of the cell wall by the way the cell wall is formed of cellulose sometimes we are calling it dead material which is called cellulose okay so what is the function of cell wall cell wall helps in the turgidity of the plant cell gives the regularity of the plant cell it gives the regularity if we look at this under microscope they are very regular opposite to the animal cell we don't have regularity in the animal cell because they don't have cell wall so the cell wall responsible for the regularity turgidity of the cell makes it firm and it protects 
protects the cell, the, the plant cell. Next, chloroplasts. Chloroplasts, they contain the green pigment. Huh? What is the name of green pigment? Chlorophyll. So what is the function of chlorophyll? Chlorophyll traps the sunlight during photosynthesis. Traps the sunlight during photosynthesis. So responsible for production of food. It's very important. The last one is the sap vacuole. Sap vacuole, as you see here, it's central, big, as you see. Octopi is a large part of the plant cell. So, what is the function of this sap vacuole? By the way, sap vacuole is responsible for storing the food and the, 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 the water. So, it, it stores the food and the water. It helps to maintain shape of the plant cell and we'll know this next lesson next lesson will explain how okay and responsible for absorption of water and we'll explain later how so three function of cell vacuole stores the food and water responsible for maintaining the shape of the plant cell and helps in absorption of water so if we need to compare between plant and animal cell according to the organelles we have different organelles first one cell membrane cell cytoplasm cell wall nucleus mitochondria Endoplasmic reticulum, chloroplasts, and sap vacuum. Huh. We'll take one by one. Cell membrane found in both. Cytoplasm in both. Cell wall only in animal in plant cell. Nucleus in both. Mitochondria in both. We are in both chloroplasts only in plant cell, cell vacuole only in plant cell. So this is the difference between the plant and animal cell.